G'day, it's Jason here from In Search of Australia. I've returned to Mitchell's Creek just because there seems to be so much gold here to just try crevicing. So I'm just going to hit the crevices, get as much material as I can and see what we get. Crevices are like natural sluices. They collect the gold in the little riffles. And as you can see, a lot of these are cleaned out, but not all of them. Here's a part that's got a lot of gravel still in it. And there may even be some in the bottom of the river here too. So I'll use the Yabby pump for that to see if there's any gold just sitting in the bottom. Now, if you're wondering why I use the Abbey pump, here's the reason. This was sort of the finish point of a crevice, and you can see five flakes of gold there that was just got by the Abbey pump on probably two sucks out of the crevice. So it's really worth making a Abbey pump or purchasing one if you can afford that, and using that to finish off the crevices. So what i found is the bedrock here and up here and it's like a little tiny stream coming into it then everything collects at this end up against all the reeds here so i'm going to dig into there and see what i can get Looks good. Grey clay. I think I just pulled up a bit of bedrock. There we go. I'll give that a test pan. This is the path that I walked down to get to the creek. And that's the bedrock crevice that I was just digging out. So a lot of people have traversed here, yet they just stepped over the gold. Time for some Mr. Snuffleupagus action. Now that's an epic toadstool. There's quite a few here, but not that big. My goal today is to actually see how much gold I can get crevicing at Sunny Corner. Now, what I mean by that is, I'm going to compare it to the amount of earth move. In New South Wales, you can only legally disturb one cubic meter of soil or material in 48 hours. Now I'm not timing it as such, I'm just going to say I'm here for the day, but what I will do is determine how much you'll get out of the crevices. So I've got a 13 litre bucket here. I mean, who the hell makes 13 litres? This is going to make the calculation fun. I'm assuming because it's a 13 litre bucket, I'm taking the idea of cubic metres, litres with water and soil. So it's a bit vague, but we will see how much gold you can actually get, depending on how Herculean you are going through the place. So when they're digging in the crevices, I'm looking at this drop off here. You want sort of a clay, gray clay here. If you can get to it. because that just indicates that it hasn't been dug up for one and 
the bedrock has decayed there so you're getting the base of it you can see it's sort of a grayer color in there a bit siltier too interested here because the crevice drops heavily and there's some quite heavy boulders in here I'm not sure if they're easy to see through the reflected water but something big was to come through it would actually be here and this is where people sort of snipe because quite often if it's a large piece of gold it's going to sit right in a little mini crevice at the bottom I'm just interested to see what's there doesn't look like grey so better for a metal detector I'd say come to a crevice here which actually starts back in the blackberries there and it comes to an edge here drops off and then starts up again so it's like there's a little hole here I'm thinking that because I found grey clay in there there might be gold sort of pulled in there and as you can see all the way around it so maybe there I could probably dig that out a bit is solid this is a Nice little find, little crevicing tool. Let's see if it's going to get us anything. The beauty of these is you can pull out the thin parts, scrape it in to where I can get it. Give it a go.
that obviously got to that crevice but then forgot to take the crevice tool. That's all right, still a bonus. So the process is to take the material from here, classify it into this bucket to thin it out, then run it through the sluice. And then I'll pan it at the end. So, 13 litres of material boils down to that. I hope it's rich with gold. That's pretty good. And that, I believe, counts as a picker. Beautiful. Thirteen litres of soil out of crevices only. That's not bad. Probably not as good as getting it from the bank, but I do like this. Point one ten of a gram, point zero eight of a gram. I'm going to say it's point one of a gram because there's a slight bit of water in there. Really small amount, but we could calculate from that. One thousand cubic meters divided by thirteen equals seventy six point nine three buckets. Seventy six point nine three buckets times the point one gram of gold I got equals 7.69 grams. That equals, ouch. To be fair, I didn't include my test gold and there were differences between crevices. If I go back, I think I'll test a little more and follow the yellow gold brick road to the crevices with the higher spec counts. Well, I think that's a success. Getting that picker really topped it off also getting a crevicing tool, that was nice as well. I'm going to leave Mitchell's Creek and Sunny Corner for a little while now, but I'm moving on up to Safala and Hill End. I'll see you in those next episodes.